Hey YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC. Uh, gonna fly the Avante S here. Um, nice day, wind coming out of the north, preferred uh, direction for our flights here for jets. I uh, do want to mention right off the bat that I am affiliated with FMS. Uh, and if you use the links in the description box below, uh, it will, and you purchase something, whether it's this plane or anything else from FMS, it, it goes, I get a very small commission that goes, uh, helps me fund the channel. We're actually looking into getting a better camera um, so we can provide better content to you guys. So uh, any, any, uh, anything you guys can do with that is much appreciated. Um, one of my more favorite jets to fly. Nice day. Hopefully it shows up real well on camera. Take off flaps in. Let's go. Get my flaps up. This plane flies really nice. Uh, I think it's a really good uh, second 6S jet. It's of everything that it comes with. It uh, takes off nice, it lands nice, flies good. This is flying with the reflex system. I've got a 8060T transmitter in it. So I do have packed telemetry, which is nice. Uh, can get about easily a 40, uh, four minute flight time with it. Although I've got an SMC uh, 4400 pack in here, um, so easily can go beyond that. Nice sound to it. Only flying at maybe about half throttle there. It cruises along very nicely. Of course, that's downwind, but. Very easy to get a good flight time on this plane because you can manage your throttle so so well. Uh, I like the F-18 I was just flying earlier. Hopefully I get that on the channel as well. I uh, did a 5,000 flight on that. That one's uh, go for broke or, or you're broke. <laughs> this one, so much farther from, or the complete opposite of that. Um, just makes a really nice everyday flyer. All right, I'm going to try and set up for some touch and goes here. Mark's got his wing out today. You'll probably see that pop in and out of the picture. too much on me. Try it again. Don't force a bad landing unless you have to. I'm going to try landing flaps this time. She is just, the wind's helping her sail today. That was completely no throttle coming in there. That wind, just she just keeps flying. If we can come around again here. I'm gonna try and approach from the other direction here. We'll go around and come in from the west. Hopefully I didn't just uh, piss off part-timer here. Pardon my French. By the way, part-timer is here today uh, recording, so hopefully we get some decent video here for you. Again, uh, uh, hit those links, help us get a little bit better camera so we can provide better content for you guys. That was a really nice landing right there, almost a wheelie. 
But it's plain when you try to CG it out. It's why I'm flying a 4400 because that keeps it uh, just a tad tail heavy with the battery all the way forward. Um, had some people I've seen online put some weight in the nose, which of course you can do. I don't like putting dead weight in unless I have to to make a plane fly. If you can just go with a heavier battery, um, that's always preferred. But that's why I use uh, 4,000 Smart Packs on this, and uh, the 4400 SMC pack works really well on this plane. Plus, you get such a long flight time. We're going to bring this in for a landing here. I could probably go a little longer, but uh, we'll bring it in. Floating again. Landing flap styled in. A little bit of throttle. There we go. The only thing this plane doesn't have is reverse thrust, but typically speaking, uh, it's very stable on its gear, so it's easy to kind of go back and forth like that in S-turns and slow it down. I've never run out of runway with this plane. But there you go, YouTube. Uh, thanks again so much for watching. Hey, YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC. I've got the Avante S here doing a, a pretty much after sunset flight. I'm not going to have a lot of light here, so maybe only one flight. I kind of wanted to highlight how well this plane is when it comes to the nav lights. Uh, and that bottom light, which you can see, really helps as well. All right, let's get her up. Take off flaps in. Yeah. It's about the only scenario right now where this plane is not great is going away from you. I don't have an afterburner in this and you can't, depending upon angles, you can't see that light. Um, but I can definitely uh, fly with it right now. It's probably going to be the only flight with it, though. You can see how that bottom light really shows up well. This definitely is a fast plane, so that's the other thing you got to be careful of when you're flying in conditions like this. So don't. I'm only flying around here like a little over half throttle. We'll probably keep it like that. Let's see if we practice some uh, touch and goes. Not going to do any loops or things like that. It's uh, even with the lights uh, taking too much of a chance with orientation. Kind of wanted to. Illustrate though that you can fly this in this type of light condition. Uh, of course, I'm in safe or FMS's version of it, I should say. I'm flying an 8060T in this plane. Um, with the reflex. So let's uh, see what we can do here with some touch and goes. I'm flying around with my takeoff flaps in. Of course, you never heard me say that before. See if we can set up a little bit better approach here. Landing flaps. <laughs> 
uh, helps to have a run out place. Probably be able to bring in a little bit nicer if uh, they didn't have that trailer. Let's try one more touch and go. We'll use this uh, runway here. right there no lights now if you put an afterburner in this thing uh, that takes care of that problem This plane just handles so well on the ground. Um, doesn't really need thrust reverse. Again, I, I think it should be in every jet if you could. Just makes it easier, but this is probably one of the easiest ones to land. Um, usually you don't fly a jet in completely dead calm weather unless you got a really nice long runway because you need that wind to help slow it down on a final approach. Uh, but this plane uh, does so well uh, just nosing up or you know come in and then start your flare it handles it it'll hang in a flare for a long time uh it's very stable again i highly re recommend this jet it's probably like your um a very good um second 6s jet maybe your first full house jet um it does have everything flaps gear nice landing lights or navigation lights with that bottom light but at any rate thanks for watching youtube mark with ultimate rc like and subscribe